Hey, my name is Hans. I'm a big Brave Day fan since the Canadian Fright Hop thing, and I'm watching his Snowden adventures uh, since two years now. And I was wondering how brave is uh, Brave Dave. So I went to the Panny Pass car park somewhere down uh, in front of the lake. There. <laughs> Dave, how are you doing this, man? Uh, on Lenvers Pass, parked my car and started the hike to Kripgoch, which is my, which is my favorite video. Uh, an evening jog along Kripgoch with the drone. And here I am, almost like 45 minutes into the walk. Uh, I left a pig track to the right and uh, now we're going up to the ridge of Kripgoch. And let's see how it is and how we do. <laughs> Good fun. I was wondering why Dave Brave is offering guided touring when the track is even marked on any map. Uh, and I, I begin to see, I begin to see because already after 10 minutes I, well, pick a route, any one is good. I don't know where to go. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to be familiar with the area, but I'm not. So I just pick one and try an error. So yeah, I, I begin to understand. Very beautiful. Suns just came out. What a beautiful turning of things! Uh, and I just saw the ridge up there. Uh, 400 meters to go up to Garnet again. And I was wondering, is this seriously the ridge Brave Dave is running on? If you find patches of snow without any footprints, consider that you're not on the right track because snow is a busy mountain. And footprints there's something wrong but I managed to find back on the track after 30 minutes of a decent detour which wasn't too bad because it was lower so less snowy brave Dave to me you are a beast uh, but I'm coming back in good weather and see what it's like then sunshine makes a big difference I guess I have to check all your YouTube videos again to see what I'm doing next uh, when I'm here in May again and maybe some of the snow has gone there and so it might be a little easier then but I'm thinking about Triffin or Elilweth or whatever it is called that looked good too we'll see